Hello sports fans, it is Monday, March the 21st, the year 2016, and we are ready for the Sweet 16 as the madness has begun. What a wacky and wild and woolly first week of the NCAA tournament. I've seen things I've never seen in my lifetime. It was just crazy over the weekend. We have to start in the West. I don't know if you guys caught this game last night. But let's start with Texas A&M and Northern Iowa, where Northern Iowa was up 12 points with 33 seconds to go and lost the game. Have you ever seen that? Northern Iowa completely collapsed down the stretch of this game. They couldn't inbound the ball. Four straight times they tried to inbound the ball, and four straight times they turned the ball over. Total meltdown by Northern Iowa. Give Texas A&M all sorts of credit for believing they can win this game. They win in double overtime. I'll tell you, Northern Iowa has to be sick today. And this is a team that just two days before beat Texas on a half-court shot. So you talk about the swing of emotions in two days. Northern Iowa beats Texas a couple of nights ago on a half-court buzzer beater. And then two days later, they blow a 12 point lead with 33 seconds to go. Are you kidding me? That's why we love college basketball. In a two-day span, you can get something like that from one team. Northern Iowa, just a complete meltdown. Even after the meltdown in regulation, they had a chance to win this game in overtime. They're up three in overtime. Texas A&M hits the big three. Northern Iowa at the end of the first overtime, I don't know what they're doing. They have about five seconds to get down the length of the floor. They give it to one of their players. He's at half court with three seconds left. He's got time to get to the basket. Throws up a half court shot. I don't know what Northern Iowa was doing there. And the regulation, they were just fouling when they shouldn't have. They were playing no defense, giving Texas A&M anything they wanted. Then all the turnovers, just a complete meltdown by Northern Iowa. I have never seen that. A 12-point lead with 33 seconds to go. I mean, you could go your whole lifetime and not see something like that. So Texas A&M advances. They beat Northern Iowa. They had beaten uh, Green Bay a couple days before. Texas A&M will play Oklahoma. Oklahoma beat uh, Cal State Bakersfield. And then they beat uh, Virginia Commonwealth yesterday in a very tight game. Heel was unbelievable for Oklahoma. So Oklahoma against Texas A&M in Anaheim. That is the bottom half of the West Bracket. The top half of the West Bracket from Anaheim will be Oregon against Duke. Oregon beat Holy Cross, and then they had a comeback and beat St. Joseph's last night. Oregon was down seven points in this game with five minutes to go. They rallied a win, so Oregon escapes there. Duke beat UNC Wilmington. Then they hung on and beat uh, Yale. Yale beat Baylor, which was a huge upset. I thought Baylor was going to go on to beat Duke, but Yale, uh, Yale bounced Baylor right out of there. And then Yale played very well against Duke. Duke hung on down the stretch and won the game. So that sets up a Duke-Oregon game out there in Anaheim as well. That is your West Bracket. As far as up to the south, we will be going to Louisville for the Sweet 16. It'll be Kansas against Maryland in one game. Kansas easily beat Austin P and UConn. Kansas looks like a wrecking crew. They look awesome. They look like one of the teams to beat for sure. Maryland beat South Dakota State at Hawaii. Now Maryland, you know, now it gets tougher for them. I mean, South Dakota State and Hawaii, okay, decent teams. But now you got to play Kansas. So Kansas, Maryland from Louisville. And the bottom half of the South bracket will be a great game. Miami against Villanova. Miami beat Buffalo, and then they beat Wichita State in a tremendous game. Villanova just crushed UNC Asheville and just bombed Iowa. Villanova could not play any better the last two games than they did. They played really lights out ball. Miami Villanova should be a tremendous game in the South region from Louisville. Over to the east we go from Philadelphia. It will be North Carolina against Indiana. North Carolina, uh, no problem with Florida Gulf Coast. Then they beat Providence. Indiana beat Chattanooga, and then they upset Kentucky. What a tremendous win by Indiana. Great win for the coach, Tom Crean. A lot of people got on the Indiana coach this year at the beginning of the year. I always thought Crean could coach. I, he was a good coach at Marquette. I always thought he was a solid coach. So this was a great win for Indiana, bouncing Kentucky in the second round. UNC-Indiana should be a really nice game from Philly. 
and the bottom half of the east bracket, it will be Wisconsin against Notre Dame. Notre Dame rallies to beat Michigan. Then they get the uh, tap in yesterday against Stephen F. Austin to win by one point. Remember, Stephen F. Austin upset West Virginia. So Notre Dame advances. They will play Wisconsin. Wisconsin beat Pitt, and then they came back and beat Xavier yesterday. They hit a three-pointer at the buzzer. I was shocked by that game. I thought Xavier was going to win. Wisconsin, gritty, gutty. Remember that Coach Bo Ryan stepped down in the middle of this season. Wisconsin lost so many players from uh, last year's uh, team that went to the finals. So great job by Wisconsin getting to the Sweet 16. Improbable win against Xavier. They hit the three-pointer at the buzzer. So you have Wisconsin against Notre Dame in the bottom half of the East bracket. Over to the Midwest bracket, we will go to Chicago. It'll be Virginia against Iowa State. Virginia beat Hampton. Then they had a tough game against Butler, and they uh, beat Butler in a tough physical game. Iowa State beat Iona, and then they beat Arkansas Little Rock. Remember, Arkansas Little Rock beat Purdue. Purdue was beating Arkansas Little Rock by 13 points with about four minutes to go. They let that game slip away. So many games just were, just slipped away from teams at the end of these, these games. You got to finish. You got to play the full 40 minutes. So many games slipped away the last few minutes of these games. So Iowa State, Virginia from Chicago. And the bottom half of the Midwest bracket, it'll be Syracuse against Gonzaga. Did you ever think you'd have these two teams in the Sweet 16? Gonzaga was a bubble team, had to win their tournament just to make the dance. Then they beat Seton Hall, who won the Big East tournament. And then they just blow out Utah. I was shocked they blew out Utah, just buried Utah. So tremendous job by Gonzaga. Remember, Gonzaga lost one of their best players for the year. They were a bubble team. I never thought they'd get to the Sweet 16 this year. Great job by Gonzaga. And there's Syracuse again. I mean, Syracuse, another bubble team. They beat Dayton in the first round. Then they bury Middle Tennessee State. Remember, Middle Tennessee State pulled off the upset of the tournament, knocking out number two seed Michigan State, which was a shocking game. Michigan State never goes out early in the tournament. I mean, year in and year out, they make big runs in the tournament. You can always count on them. They never go out in the first round. Middle Tennessee led that game from start to finish, put up 90 points on Michigan State. I was shocked by that game. And then what happens two days later? Middle Tennessee State plays Syracuse. Syracuse bombs them like 75 to 50, holds Middle Tennessee State to 50 points. And Michigan State must be sitting there going, how in the world did we lose to this team? So Syracuse, Gonzaga, never thought you'd get that Sweet 16 matchup. Do you realize one of those two teams is going to be in the Elite Eight Never saw that coming. I was totally shocked by Michigan State losing to Middle Tennessee State. And Michigan State never had a lead in that game. Middle Tennessee led from wire to wire. That was a shocking game to me. The shocker of the tournament. So you have some great matchups coming up. As far as the picking, picking the games, I'm going to go with, uh, as far as the South region, I'm going to go with Kansas over Maryland. And I'm going to go with Villanova to beat Miami in a tremendous game. Just a great game there. As far as the West, I'm going to go with Oklahoma and heel over Texas A&M. Texas A&M had a miracle last night to win. Their luck is going to run out. I think Oklahoma wins that game. Oregon-Duke is a very, very strange game, a very tough game. I'm going to go with Oregon just because the game is being played in Anaheim. I think it's going to be an Oregon house. I think they're going to have all their fans out there. And I don't think this is one of the better Duke teams we've seen. But I'll tell you, that's a very interesting game. Oregon was on the ropes yesterday against St. Joseph's. As far as the East in Philly, I'm going to go with North Carolina over Indiana. Very tough for Indiana to beat UK and then North Carolina back-to-back -back games. So I'm going to go with North Carolina there. Wisconsin-Notre Dame is a very tough game. I don't love this Wisconsin team, but I have to give them credit. Two tremendous wins. They win a game at the buzzer. But I'm going to go with Notre Dame there to pull it out in a close game. As far as the Midwest in Chicago, I'm going to go with Virginia over Iowa State. I was on the fence with Virginia and Michigan State as far as who was I, uh, who was I going to pick for the Final Four. 
I went with Michigan State just because Michigan State has knocked out Virginia the last two years. So Virginia is thrilled Michigan State is not there anymore. Virginia was so happy Michigan State got bounced out. I think Virginia can handle this Iowa State team. This is not a great Iowa State team. They're a good team. They're not a great team. Virginia is a solid team. I like Virginia to beat Iowa State. And then the Syracuse-Gonzaga game. I mean, how in the world do you pick this game? I'm going to go with Syracuse just because they have matchup zone and they play great defense. You can always count on Syracuse's defense to be there. If they hit shots, they can beat anyone. So I'm going to go with Syracuse, although I'm not too confident. That game can go either way. I'll go with Syracuse just because of that matchup zone and they always play good defense. But there should be some really tremendous games coming up. Right now, the way I look at it, you still got to favor North Carolina and Kansas to win this whole team. Virginia is right there. I mean, the Villanova-Miami winner is going to be right there. you still got a lot of good teams left. Oklahoma with heel. You never can count them out. So you still got a tremendous, tremendous amount of good teams left in this tournament. You're going to have some great matchups come the Final Four. But it was just a wild and woolly weekend. The breakdowns at the end of these games... Northern Iowa blowing a lead. St. Joseph's blowing a lead. I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, every game I watched, some team was blowing a lead. Purdue blowing a lead. It just went on and on every single game. Every time I turned around, some team was blowing a lead. It was absolutely ridiculous. Even the Wisconsin Xavier game. I thought Xavier had that game in the bag. So the meltdowns at the end of this game, but nothing. Nothing tops what Northern Iowa did. Up 12 points with 33 seconds to go, and you lose the game. Four turnovers in a row. The bad fouls, the bad defense, the bad shot selection. Just a total meltdown by Northern Iowa. That's something you may not see in your lifetime again. So I'm still shocked by that game. And by the way, the big winner as far as the conference, the ACC, I believe they have, what, six teams left out of the final 16? So great job by the ACC. They are the big winner as far as the conference right now. Six out of 16. That is tremendous job by the ACC. All right, so there you go. You guys are all set. You guys are caught up. You have my picks for the Sweet 16, which will be on Thursday and Friday. Then you'll have the Elite Eight on Saturday and Sunday. And then we'll be in the Final Four before you know it. It goes quick, so enjoy it. I hope the games are as good as they were last week, and they were tremendous. You guys, thanks for your support as always. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Pick a lot of winners, make a lot of money, and enjoy these games. They've been fabulous. Talk to you soon. Take care.